Hi there, I'm Chris Hanlon from theprofitwizard.com. In this short video, I'm going to talk about how you can quickly get a competitive advantage for your business in your marketplace. Now, I'm not going to talk about how you can have a competitive advantage or create a competitive advantage through improving your product or service. I'm not qualified to do that. I don't know your business. And frankly, to be honest, I don't think it matters that much. What we're going to look, about, look at is how you're going to create a competitive advantage through marketing. Now, I'm going to oversimplify things, so, so don't scream and leave too many nasty comments about the oversimplification. I'm going to say that there's two main aspects of marketing. All right? There's customer acquisition and there's customer retention. Getting customers and keeping customers. Now, there's a lot of debate about which is more important. And to me, that sounds very much chicken and egg because they're both equally as important. If either one of those fails, fully fails, your business will ultimately fail eventually. Okay? So you must have effective customer acquisition and effective retention. That being said, what we're going to talk about in this video is just customer acquisition. We're going to ignore retention. That's something we'll look at at a subsequent video. But for today, for today, we're going to look at customer acquisition, getting more customers. So now that we know what we're looking at in this video, let's get some perspective. What is a competitive advantage? Well, a competitive advantage doesn't mean you have to be world class or better than everybody else in the world. Really, it only need, means that you need to be better in your marketplace than your competitors. Brian Tracy in his book, Advanced Selling Strategies, has a great little um, analogy that he uses. He compares salesmen to horses in a horse race. And the point he makes is that the winning horse in a horse race can earn 10 times the prize money of the horse that came second. Now, the question is, is that horse that came first 10 times better than the horse that came second? No, of course not. In fact, quite often they win by just a nose, but they still get paid 10 times the amount than the one that came second. So all you need to do is be a nose better than the competitors to get the benefits of that revenue. Does that make sense? In fact, it, it reminds me of the old joke, and I, I'm sure you've heard it, but I'm going to repeat it again, if, in case you haven't. Two guys are in the woods, they're walking along, they see a bear, angry, obviously aggressive bear that starts coming towards them. One stops to put his running shoes on. His friend says, hey dude, what are you doing? You can't outrun a bear, those things move really fast. His friend looks up at him and says, I don't need to outrun the bear, I only need to outrun you. So what we're going to look at here is how you can outrun your competitors to get a better slice of the market and beat them in the customer acquisition in your marketplace. So the first thing that you need to do is to make a list of your competitors in your marketplace. And that should be pretty easy. You've been there for a while, presumably. You've seen their ads. Just do that. Um, good place to start is usually the yellow pages. Uh, maybe an internet search in your local area, that sort of thing. Make a list of your competitors. That's number one. Number two, what you need to do is then collect their ads. Now, I've mentioned Yellow Pages, and that's a really good place to start for most industries. Different industries do uh, advertise in different ways. Okay, So it may be specific to your industry. You may have specific ways to, to advertise. So also add those. If everyone in your ad, um, industry advertises through direct mail, then get direct mail pieces from everybody, including your own for this. Um, it may be radio, it may be TV, so record them, transcribe them, whatever. Um, otherwise, you've got things like classified ads in the newspapers, magazine ads, and trade journal ads. Whatever it is for your industry, and it may be more than one, go get all those ads. All right, that's step two. Step three is to analyze them. Now, you want to analyze these ads um, 
by a, a set of criteria, which I'm going to go through in a second. So you want to rate them, rate them from one to ten. Ten being really, really good, one being really, really lousy. All right, and you need to rate your own, and you have to be quite objective about this for this to be uh, of any benefit to your business. So the first criteria is how much does the ad focus on the customer? How much does it focus on benefits rather than talking about how good the business is? All right. So um, rather than a plumber talking about ABC Plumbing being a, uh, around for 120 years, it's you've got a block drain and we can be there in 30 minutes. That's the difference, all right? Just to give you an idea. So you rate them one to 10 on how specifically they're looking at the customer as opposed to themselves. The next thing you want to look at is how much they specialize in a niche, okay? So um, the plumbing, going back to the plumbing example, if they're just plumbers, they just say plumbers, we're plumbers, we're plumbers, but somebody says, um, we specialize in uh, drain laying and um, building new houses. I, I don't know, I'm not, not into plumbing, obviously, myself. So how much do they specialize? You've got to give them some points for specialization, all right? And it's worth noting what areas they're specializing in, because it'd be good to know what's working for them in case you're not doing it. The next criteria is what do they offer from the beginning of the ad? So there's two ways of doing this, if you like. You can say, I'm a plumber, ring my number to get a quote or I'll come round or whatever, right? So that's straight in, that's selling off the ad. Or they could say, call in or write in or whatever it is for a re free report, a free DVD, a free quote, a free consultation. What is it that they're offering on the ad? Is there a, a free thing that's going to hook them in because all they're selling is going to be done in the report of the DVD or the consultation. All right? So they're going to get a lot more selling for every person that calls up um, or for every person that sees the ad than they are if they just say, here's the ad, take it or leave it, call me an order. I hope that makes sense for you. So ask yourself that question and rate them on how much, what they're offering for free. This next one is really important. This is how clear is their call to action? How clearly do they say, pick up the phone and call now, go to this website and fill in the form, cut this coupon and post it in now or bring it in store now. That's what we call a call to action. How good is their call to action? How strong is it? How clear is it? All right. Because the stronger, clearer that call to action, the more response they are going to get from that ad. And if people are responding to that ad, they're not looking at the other ads. You need to make sure that you've got the clearest, strongest call to action. So rate all the calls to action so you know what, what they're rated at for that as well. Now the last criteria, and, and it's sort of close to that call to action, uh, is, is how clear are the contact details. Okay, How clear do they make it? Uh, where they are, how to get hold of them, their website, their phone number. Um, for some businesses, opening hours are incredibly important, um, others not so much. So depending on your business and on your industry, you know, you want to make sure that those things, rate them on those things. How clear are those important details? Okay, so that's that. You, you've got your list of competitors, you've rated them, now you just go through and you see where they're ahead of you and where you're ahead of them. And the goal is to get ahead of them in as many of those criteria, in fact, in all of those criteria, if you can. Now, what I've just described to you is a small part of what we do in a competitive intelligence report. So myself and uh, over 1,400 other top line solutions business consultants around the world use this formula for a competitive intelligence report and it's quite it's very detailed it goes into a lot of detail about the market and it's specific to your market whether your market is local national or global um, so we've got a lot of work that we do that for that and in fact doing a proper competitive intelligence report 
uh, takes me generally two to three weeks. So because it's so in depth and because uh, it takes so long, we charge, um, myself and others, between $500 and $1,500 for these competitive intelligence reports. Now, I'm mentioning this for one reason, because I'm gonna offer you something special. If you want to get me to do the legwork for you and do a competitive intelligence report, instead of charging you the normal $497 that I would charge to do this, I will offer it to you. I'm hesitating because I can't believe I'm making this offer. I'll do it for you for $97, $97, New Zealand dollars that is. So I'll, I'll do a competitive intelligence report for $97. All you need to do is to send me an email on the email address that should flash on the screen now, okay? In the subject line, I want you to put CIR, competitive intelligence report, and in the body of the email, um, your details and mention that you saw this video. All right, and that'll save you from 497 down to $97 for a competitive intelligence report. Now, you might be saying, why on earth would I do that? Particularly on the internet, throwing it up on YouTube and, and uh, on the blog. Well, there's a good reason, I'm not stupid. Uh, basically, I know that one in five of the people that do a competitive intelligence report or get me to do a competitive intelligence report for them will become a coaching or a consulting client, one in five. So it is in my interest to do this, even if I'm taking a hit on every single competitive intelligence report that I do. Now, one thing I will mention, um, there may be a chance that it will take longer. And the only reason I say that is I have no control over how many people are going to see this video, when they're going to see it, when they're going to email me. Uh, I doubt that I'm going to have 100 people do that in one go. In fact, I, I certainly hope not. It's, maybe it's a nice problem to have, but there's no way I could do 100 of these things in a very short period of time. Not to the quality or standard that I want to do them anyway. So um, with the caveat that you know there is uh, a time frame thing and if I cannot do it for you at the time you email me, I'll let you know that. But the $100 or $97 um, offer stands, send that, through, uh, send that email through to me. CIR in the subject line, uh, mention you you've saw this video. So let's recap. What do you need to do to get a competitive advantage? You don't need to be the best in the industry. You don't have to be the best in the world. You just need that competitive edge over your competition. To do that, you can do that yourself. All you need to do is get their copies of their ads, run them through the criteria that I mentioned before, which I'll make sure that I um, post below this video so you don't have to keep rewinding to write it down. Go through those, rate the, um, your business and your competitors on that scale, determine which areas you are lagging behind in, and make sure, make the difference to get ahead of them. Do what it takes to rate yourself higher than them. And because you did the rating, you'll know what to do. Uh, as I said, otherwise you can get hold of me and I'll be more than happy to help you with that. So that's all we've got time for today. This was about customer acquisition. We're gonna talk about customer retention on a later video. I don't know whether that'll be next week or in a few weeks time. So until then, take care of yourself, take care of your business, and I'll see you on the next video.